In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use WordPress media folders. It's a plugin you add to your site. It allows you to categorize and organize your media. With your media library is just like, kind of like a dumping ground for videos and images and audio. And now you can use this plugin I'm going to show you to organize it. It's not a quick process. It's pretty slow to organize your media library, especially if you have lots of media. So hopefully you don't have too much. But either way, this is how you create folders inside your media library. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress, you like WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks, and getting better at it, make sure you click on subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and then check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. That's where we talk WordPress all day long, so you can get even better at it after you watch these tutorials. So make sure you check that out. And with that out of the way, let's check out this screen capture. I'll see you there. So if you look at our media library as it is, mine will probably look a lot like yours. And it's just a, a big pile of images, a big messy pile with really no organization other than um, chronological. So the, the most recent image will be up here and then all the rest follow. There are some basic things you can do. You can filter by images, audio, video, which shouldn't be in your media library anyway. Uh, which ones are unattached, which ones are yours. So in this case, they're all mine because I'm the only one uploading here. You can sort by dates and all that is kind of useful. But I'm going to install a plugin right now where we can add folders to our media library and organize it much better. So if we head over to plugins and then add new and search for media library folders. This first one over here is the one I use. This one might be great too. I haven't tried this one yet, but it does look pretty good. They're both untested with the current version because I'm running a beta version of WordPress. Um, so don't worry about that. Yours will likely say it is compatible with the most recent version. So we're going to try this one over here. I'm going to click on install now. And by the way, I just went ahead and installed it. If you are at all concerned about this breaking your site, you should do a backup. I've linked to a tutorial up above for Backdraft Plus, where I show you how to backup your site quickly and easily using that free plugin. And once installed, click on activate. Now we have a new option over here called Media Library Folders. So let's just click on that first one to open that. And there is a pro version as well, as you can tell, but the free version does a whole lot and works just fine for me. So what we do to add a folder is we click on add folder. Let's call this folder name logos. Now we see the folder appearing in our list right here. And it currently has, if we click on it, it currently has no images, no files were found. But if we click on 2018, we then see all the different months because usually photos are categorized or grouped in the uploads folder by year and then months within the year. So 2018 would be April of 2018. All the images that, or all the media, it could be images, audio, video that were uploaded in April, would show up here. And here they are. And I have, oh, look, I have a logo. That's a nice coincidence. So I can click, I can check the box and then click and drag this image into my new logos folder. Let that work for a minute. And now if we go into our logos folder, we have our logo image appearing here. And we can drag and drop images all around in these folders as we want. And I checked the box, I didn't have to check the box, just move just one. But if you wanted to move multiple at once, you would check the box of all of them and then just click and drag one of them and move them. Let's go into 03, see if we can stop, find some more pictures to drag and drop. So we have some more logos. Let's take this one and that one and that one and this one. So we have four checked. Let's click and drag one of them into our logos folder. Let that work for a minute. Now, if we head into our logos folder here, we still have just that one, so that didn't work. Let's try that again. Go into 03 or any other folder, select some logos, and then click and hold and drag one of them into the logos folder. We have our spinning icon here to show it's working. Now it shows as complete. Let's head back into logos. Even though it's still spinning, it showed as complete. And now we have the logos we transferred. And that is how we can organize these things to make them better to manage, especially if you have a big media library, it can be a huge pain inside the WordPress media library. And one important thing to notice is that this logo 
and all of these logos, I just clicked on this to open a new tab, but all of these logos now have a new attachment URL, which is uploads forward slash the folder name you created and then the file name. So if we go back into our regular media library, I'm gonna to try to find this one quickly. I don't wanna to take too long finding it, but I should be able to find it pretty quickly. There it is. If we click on this guy, we see that it is under logos now. We have changed the URL to the image. Any image that we move around, we move this one as well. Also logos, any URL or any image we move will have a new URL, which will include the folder name you created. So when you're doing this, if you already have these images live on your site and you put them into folders, they're gonna break. So that's the big gotcha with using a media folder organizer like that. It's had to be very organized. It's, it'll be difficult to organize the images you have already, but once you have organized, it'd be a lot less painful to work with. But organizing images you're gonna be uploading is gonna be a whole lot easier using something like this. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell notification icon somewhere on the video up here, but on the page down below. And then check out the Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And after that, check out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.